Hey ladies and gentlemen, if I sound a little bit weird, it's because one of my little cub breeds is a little bit fussy today, so I'm giving him some extra Pokemon on me time by bringing him up and down. Um, so anyway, uh, I have intentionally blacked out the opening screen of this battle video. This is a post-narration, um, just because I didn't want to spoil uh, everything in the battle. So looking at his team, I'm thinking, um, you know, this guy is clearly not very competitive, so I feel safe bringing my Inky. Uh, for the other two, I bring Tangela and Sneasel. I mean... No reason to, you know... Well, I mean, I always bring Sneasel, pretty much. And I figured that Tangela would be a fun lead. Uh, I lead... So, uh, against his Phantom, this is actually great. I'm able to go for a Sludge Bomb, which is super effective. Gets him down to about half, so that's going to be an easy 2 to KO. He does go for the Confuse Ray. Interesting, he doesn't have the Berry... Um, sorry, not the Berry Juice, excuse me. The Oran Berry. Um, this is obviously not a... Oh, he had a Frisk, so I know he's not the Harvest set. I hit myself in the confusion, but Tangela is such a special wall that it really doesn't do anything. Faint, again, doesn't do anything. I snap out of confusion on the very next turn, which is great. Go for another Sludge Bomb, and that is a dead Phantom. So that's fine, that's wonderful, and now I'm really wondering who he's going to send out next, but I'm really not fearing anyone. Here comes Vulpix. Um, Vulpix should outspeed. I was very surprised that I got the Sleep Powder off. I was intending to fodder um, my Vulpix... My, sorry, my... Um, Tangela, and I actually thought that I might lose this battle because I didn't know what I'd use to take out Vulpix. Um, so I get him to sleep, and I'm like, well, that's great. So I go ahead and switch out into Inky, uh, and I decide, all right, it's time for some superpowers. Uh, no one on his team. So he does have that Ralts. He could, in theory, be bringing out that Ralts, which would uh, quad resist superpower. But if he's bringing in a Ralts to a battle, it's not a problem. It turns out he, his last Pokemon is Chinchow, and this is great because um, I couldn't have one-shotted it, but I can definitely two-shot it, and now I don't have to worry about Vulpix either, um, because I know that at plus two attack, I will be able to take out that Vulpix, unless it's Focus Ash. Um, interesting, by the way, that it wasn't even Drought. It um, wasn't even a Drought set, so clearly this guy, not the best player on the planet, but, you know, takes all kinds, right? I actually feel bad for people competing in this tournament who did not bring competitive teams, because little cup breeding is really hard, and, yeah, I mean, it's not as intuitive, say, OU, or a regular double. So anyway, that was the battle. It was a clean, inky sweep, and I hope, and it was a lot of fun to play. So I hope you folks enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe. So long.